Chase surrounded by the Cat Pack. Durham, New Hampshire is the site for today's F3. The running back, Trace Need, who really jumped out on film. Kickoff is going back. Fotis Koskasoulis typically returns these kicks. Going up the right sideline, looks like Trace Sneed is wrapped up. Nice MJ Wright, those three receivers you're talking about. They fake the handoff to Sneed. First pass outside to DeKeese Carter. Make it MJ Wright. Around the field in small increments. Quick pass here to the sideline. It's caught by Fotis Koskasoulis. Turnovers. Joe Eichmann, a walk-on now on scholarship. Tamorat tosses to Kokosoulis again, evades a tackler, and gets past the 35. It's third and short. They're going to fake the gift to Sneed again. Throwing right, it's the sure-handed Kokosoulis for another. But they have not been a factor, like you said. Tamorat going to give it again. Big hole for Sneed. He's past the 40. One man to beat at the 30. Chased down by Max Oxendine. It's been really good. Watch the three wide receiver bunch. Instead, they give it to Sneed. Lots of room on the right side. Is the ball on the ground? UNH thinks they have it. Number eight is the one. It's Silver who's able to punch that out. The Nightman falls right on it. Missed their own all in end of the field. Max Brosmer going to go play action. He throws to the far side. That one caught by Joey Corcoran. To that offense, then what Fordham has. Rosemer fakes and throws again, this time caught by Dylan Lobby, the running back. He's got a first down and more down. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, UNH, with a Brian Espinet high five to cap it off. Downfield that allowed Lobby to be able to spring. Extra point is good for Nick Park. Demorak grabs it. They need six. He's in trouble. Getting chased by Silver and Ruiz. He's just got to toss it away. Snap to Brosmer. Fakes the handoff. Going deep to Lauby. He got it! What a... Brosmer. Pressure coming. Now he has some space to run for the first down. He dives. It's going to be close. Prior. Brosmer looking to throw. Quick out, caught by the tight end Kyle Lepp, and he took that in stride, so Corcoran's the number one now. Hand off Lauby, lots of room up the middle. He wants end zone again, but he'll have to settle for the 24-yard line. A little bit of trickery, Lobby around the left side. He's got some room, but he can't find the edge. He'll have to go out of bounds with it. every red zone opportunity you have. Max Brosmer looking left again, throws, open receiver, touchdown from Rhode Island with a big score, Cats up 13. Santos talked about how explosive he is out of his breaks and we see that an outstanding route sticks that foot in. Santos said they've seen a massive difference in him in his decision making this year. He can play at... That's insanity, but we see where Fordham ranks all time in the history of FCS offenses. They want some points right now, deep ball Fotis hand off Sneed burst through the middle that'll be a gain of seven or eight as he gets it up to the snap back to Demorad looks for the quick pass caught by Sneed he'll get there a first down for the Ram as he got off the field there Demorad scanning looking end zone it is caught touchdown Sissio, the tight end from Bridgewater, Mass. Fordham right back in the go. Now Brandon Peskin for the extra point. And all of a sudden, it's a seven-point pistol with Lauby. Fake the handoff to him. Brosmer looking deep, has a man wide open. Heron Morriso going to the pylon. Touchdown. It's for the UConn transfer. UNH answers right back. Routes to Brosmer is right. And you're going to see two Fordham defenders trailing the inside receiver of the year for Heron Morriso on by far his longest reception and the extra point from Nick May's events. Julius Luffridge optioned out right to Morat. Gets hit as he throws. Intercepted. Picked off over the middle. It's Brandon Tyne for Brosmer and UNH. 
Has some time. Screen pass to Lauby. Running past the line is scrimmage. He won't make it all the way to close the gap some. Scored a couple drives ago. Demorat looking deep. And it is tipped and intercepted. Has the ball and space. He's going to head to the sideline. First time a moment ago. Brosmer. Pocket collapsing. Throws over the middle. That's caught. It is Joey Corcoran. Or no, make it deep. Wide receiver room by next year. And it could be Corcoran and Lincolns. Fake the handoff to Miles Thomas. And the quarterback still has it. Brosmer takes a hit on that knee. As an extension of the coaching staff. As he takes the snap on first and ten. Quick pass is caught out by Sean Coyne. No. Better and better. Second and four for Brosmer. Hands off Lauby. Makes a man miss. He's got the corner. Second score of the day. He's going to do a nice job on the edge. Not going to get a lot of style points for that block that he got, but he got the job done cutting off number 32. Longest scoring drive of the game, three minutes and nine seconds. A seven play, 48 yard drive, and a good extra point from East Cocosulis on the bottom slide. Instead, they go with a give to Sneed again, who after stumbling for a moment, finds a hole for five or six. Quickly tracked him down. To Morat. Fakes to Julius Luffridge. Throw over the middle is caught. Makai Felton has the first down and a little route running, finding the soft spot, sitting down. Fordham wants to go quick to Morat. Going deep. He has a man. It's caught to Keese Carter. Touchdown. 52 yards. And the second passing touchdown today for Tim DeMorat. Fordham sticking around. Deep ball threat. Showed wide there. 12 touchdowns during the regular season and 11. They motion Lauby. Hand it off to the third stringer, Thomason, who's got a lot of room. Makes a man miss at the 35. Greengrass in front of him. A convoy of Rams trying to take him down. Finally. Side of the line, motions to the right. And he'll go upfield. They give it to Lepkowski, and he dropped it right on the edge of the goal line. Nick Maisie, his long is 42. And that one is tipped and blocked. Create a lot of problems. This time they drop Silver back into coverage. Throw goes near side, bobbled and caught by MJ Wright. He stepped out of bounds before that. Third and four. Brosmer under pressure, throws, one-handed catch by Lobby, and he gets the necessary yard. Teams in the CAA finished with winning records over 500. Rosemer throws near side, caught a leaping catch, Sean Coyne. Empty backfield for first and 20. Going to go with the screen. This time they connect to Fotis Kokosoulas, and he gets almost all of that penalty back. Brings it up to the 45. This was the one that ping-ponged off a lineman last time. Yeah, exactly. It is time to get the timing for it going to stop it here on third and six if the ball is put in player on the ground it's not it's a pass and it's caught by Lepkowski high pointed at the 37 and out of play but more so had a shot on that at that ball here's a handoff to Lauby and he snakes his way up for a couple yards but the clock for 281 passing yards and three touchdowns in the first half he hands off to Heron Morriso on the jet sweep he's got room Morriso past the 50 the UConn transfer pass Second half. Going into the wind. No. And you just create a big play on the ground. And again, New Hampshire creating big plays with blocking. Play all game that UNH has gone under center, and they go super old fashioned with the jet sweep. It works out well. Those 12 rushes compared to 22 passes. This will be the 23rd for Demorat. With time, has his receiver MJ Wright, and that's a first down. First and 10 snap, Demorat gives it to Luffridge again. He's got a lot of room. No one touched him until the 45. He stopped just after that at the 46. It could also work its way downfield. Intermediate throw, MJ right again at the 40, now brought down at the 36. Demorat, naked in the shotgun. Has so much time. Trying to direct his receivers. Now he's in trouble, Ruiz chasing. He skips around him, throw over the middle, caught. 
nearing 300 yards on the day. Two fake handoffs, getting chased down, throws right, caught. Makai Felton goes out of bounds. Afraid to get physical even after it. Here's Brosmer on third and nine. In trouble, escapes. Now he's got to run, and he'll get most of the way, but not the whole way. First and ten in the gift to Snead. He has a ton of room past the 20. Up over the 30, and finally pulled down in tackles. Four for loss and two sacks for Nathan Capongo. Play to the sideline. Caught Coco Sulis and out of bounds past the... Second and one play. Give to Luffridge. Skips around a tackler. And there's the first down. Yeah, I had an Ohio game. Half that Fordham has played all season. This is one of their tougher matchups, too. There's Julius Luffridge up the middle. Past the five. And he walks in. Team up the middle. Seventh rushing touchdown of the year for Love. Then they actually kind of change the dynamics of the offense a little bit for him. Rosemer to the sideline. It's caught. Joey Corcoran. First down. For playing, you're going at a guy when you bring Thomason into the game. Here is Brosmer taking off. Did he get far enough? It does. Three wide for Brosmer on fourth and one. They're going to throw again. Over the middle. Caught. Corcoran. First down. He spun around. And now they stack it up looking like it's going to be a run. And it's a handoff to Lauby. Lots of room up the middle. Fighting for the goal line. Touchdown. You a 12-yard run. So dangerous, so many ways, and again, what New Hampshire has done when it's been positive, it's been a team effort. He gets great blocks to goal line. Extra point is up, and it is good from Nick. They're well in the ground game if they want. More than enough time to keep running it, but Demorak going to pass, going near sideline. It's caught by Coco Sulis, who sheds his defender and midfield. Tim Demorat in the shotgun, takes the snap and gives it to Trey Snead. Cut back up the middle past the 30, spinning down over the 20 today. Hasn't found the end zone yet. They fake the handoff, go to Coco Sulis at the sticks, he has it, gets up and gets a little bit extra inside the 10 yard line. Pulls it, knowing where to find, nice little adjustment there by Coco. Up with Demorat and Snead in the backfield. Fake the handoff, pitch to Coco Sulis, he's got running room, end zone, tight. Fotis Coco Sulis scores on the ground and Fordham again. Here's Peskin to finish it off and it's good. Once again, down a score. Brosmer throwing deep. It is caught! Sean Coyne! At here to be able to kick a field goal. Brosmer dropping back, throwing for the end zone. It is short. Is there a flag? Kicks this season blocked from 40. The kick is up. And it's good. Now motion. Screen pass. Coco Sulis wrapped up right as he caught it. Snap and a give to Lauby. Breaks right, trying to get around the corner. He has the edge, and he's got four or five to get the first down for 27 yards. They give it to him once again. No, it's Miles Thomas in this time. As Lava gets the odd rest, is the football out. They're pointing in the beach. On three turnovers, this is the first turnover forced by the Rams. Throw over the middle behind Coco Shoeless. Fourth down. They motion Lauby and give it to him on the jet sweep. He gets the corner after stepping out of a tackle, nearly broke free. He'll st snap, and guess what? They gave it to him again, and there's another first down. MVP, MVP, whatever he wants. There is a snap and a give to Lauby. He's got space. He'll have another time of the game. The dungeon is going nuts for Dylan Lauby. He's back in and then watch the move. Watch him get to the edge. The stutter step. Let that space clear and then get to only just tough and versatile. But I mean, just good patience and vision and as a runner as well. What a block to Rutgers transfer. 
There's another give, and he'll have the first down and a little bit of extra room as he gets out near the... Che, outstanding draft expert, is said he's somebody to keep an eye on. He, Greenhagen, both guys that were listed in a year. Demorat dropping back. He's got some space. He'll take off and get the first down plus a little more out. So it appears to be all right. He's on the far side of the line as they snap and give it to Snead again. Lots of room for Snead. Gets around one tackler, still on his feet, and down near the 10. Big issue. If the whistle hadn't blown, then it's clean. There's an option to Coco Sulis again. This time they see it. He slips around a tackler. Did he have the piece? Coco Sulis with his second rushing touchdown of the game. He comes up. Brandon Peskin with the kick. That is good. In the game. Morris show in motion. Handoff. Lauby up the middle and brought down. But just a slight step up. And that will be the final kneel. Rosemar waited for this moment. MVP performance number 20, you've got to give that defense. And that secondary was far from... Again, we talked about a little bit earlier, four, four to outstanding year.